Still on illegal mining, the Menya Krobo Traditional Council in the Eastern Region is skeptical about the government's commitment to fighting illegal mining. The council contends that Ghana rigs losing out on its cocoa production capacity due to the increasing destruction of cocoa farms by illegal miners. A divisional chief of Menya Krobo, Nene Tete Akra I, raised this concern in an interaction with journalists. There is more in the following report. The Ghana Cocoa Board, Cocoa Board, recently announced a rollout of a series of interventions to ensure that cocoa farmers do not lose their farmlands to illegal small-scale mining, otherwise known as Galamse. This stemmed from concerns that several factors are pushing cocoa farmers to exchange farmlands for illegal mining, thereby threatening the cultivation and production of cocoa in the country. Recently, over 400 acres of farmlands in the Achuman Wabieja South Municipality in the Ashanti region were threatened as a foreign old gold mining firm commenced exploration in the area. Five cocoa growing communities will be affected when the firm Megop Mining Limited begins full operations after carrying out the ongoing exploration. Speaking to journalists at the inaugural Africa and Diaspora Development Initiatives on Environment and Climate Action in Pong, Nene Tete Akra the first expressed worry over the situation. The government is committed. I don't think so because Galamse is spoiling everything. Galamse. Just look at our lands. Now, when you go to some of the villages, it's like because of money, now things have been like degrading the, the forest, cutting down trees, cocoa that is our backbone is now going and we come to a time if we don't stop it it will come to a time there wouldn't even be a tree of cocoa one tree that will produce the cocoa we will have it everything that we are talking of depends on money so they should be taking good care of the farmers and then um, the uh, uh, yeah like the farmers you know when you have money it's like you are working and you have been paid well you don't think of any extra thing that you do. You only think of how to go about it and do the right thing. So if the cocoa board, the government will pay the farmers well, I think all these things will be done. I, I, I saw a program, a farmer was telling someone that for almost 20 years or so, he, yes, I think 20 years or so, he never saw, I think, 10,000 or something. But someone gave him 30,000, and now he's okay. So, and he finished by saying, government cannot stop the Lamsi. But I think that is very unfortunate. You look at what is happening today in Galamse. Uh, for instance, it's heartbreaking. Uh, I had the opportunity to visit Takrade and crossing the Pura River, uh, I, I just cried. You know, the use of uh, mercury and all that is really polluting. The, our health system is not better. We need a better green future for our children. Touching on the recent scorching heat wave being experienced in Ghana for the past few weeks, with temperatures reaching unprecedented levels, Nene together with some environmentalists say the government must intensify its tree planting efforts to help curb the situation. Some of our trees have been cut down and, you know, we are suffering. Now, just look at the uh, climate change now. For some time, it wasn't so. Now it looks like because of the climate change, we are suffering like the weather itself. So we would like to plead with the government. Those that are in the bush and then uh, it's like they are cutting down the trees, they should stop. We should plant more trees to give us good environment. I must say climate change is really happening. Yeah, I'm sure we can all feel it around. The heat wave, the heat stress, that is all over. And there are real scientific proof that the Earth's temperature is increasing. Yeah, from records, uh, the temperature has increased averagely about 0.8 degrees Celsius. And this has, even though we might hear this to be very small, it is really impacting on so many things. Yeah, in world, in the world. 
every aspect of this life is being impacted by climate change. And it has been a very serious issue that globally, lo regionally, locally, everybody needs to do something about it. Tree planting. Tree planting is a basic thing that we have to intensify because that is a mitigation measure for climate change. Because like we know, trees remove the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Yeah, it's something that we have to really intensify. So government should make effort to intensify tree planting, uh, tree planting exercise. Environmentalists say government must intensify efforts at dealing with the menace of illegal mining. While Nene Tete Accra the first on his part believes that a better remuneration for cocoa farmers would serve as a disincentive to exchanging their farmlands for illegal mining operations. My name is Ni Ayukwe Okain, reporting for City News.